Hello there, welcome to Nate's Take. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add annotations to YouTube videos. Now, there are two ways that you can add clickable links to your YouTube videos. One of those is annotations and another one is called cards. That one's pretty new. I'm gonna show you how to do both of them. Now, I like annotations better. The reason I like annotations better is because you can interact with things inside the video. You can highlight something and make it clickable. The disadvantage to annotations is they don't work on mobile devices. You know, if you're watching a video here, annotations will not work. So YouTube created cards because cards do work on your mobile devices. I'm gonna show you how to do both and you'll see what the differences are. So a few moments ago, I just uploaded a video here to YouTube. This is my how to be more confident video. We're just using it as a demo. Uh, right here. Now, when you're on the upload screen, there is not a button up here that says annotations. This is where it normally will appear. I have a tool called TubeBuddy installed, and so I've got all these tools down here. You know, I've got this annotations button. I'll click on that, and I'll show you what that looks like. So it comes, hello everybody. Let me pause that. So it comes right to the annotations screen. Let me show you how to get here otherwise. How I would do it is I would just go to the video it there and then you hit edit or you can hit annotations that way if you hit edit then you have to hit annotations up top here anyway that brings you to that same screen. hello everybody let me pause there so um anyway now we're on the same screen a couple different ways so let me just close one of them I'll come back to that video in a second i'll show you another example all right so on this video at the very end i've prepared some um things that I want linked to. So let me fast forward to the very end of the video and I'm going to zoom in so it's much larger scale and I'll hit, you see I've got four different things that I want linked to. I've got a subscribe button, I've got uh, a link here that I want to just go to my channel and then I've got two specific uh, videos that I want to link to from within the video. So if I hit add annotation, there's a few different options here. I'm going to do spotlight and it brings up a box. I'm gonna put that box around my video, kind of stretch that there. I can put text in there, it'll allow me to put a title below it, but I usually leave that blank. And just so you can see this better, I'm gonna turn the color to red. So when I mouse over it, you see how it turns red there? And then the important thing is to make that a link, and you could paste a link to another YouTube video. So let me grab this a real estate video with Chris Crone. I'll copy that URL and I'll just paste it in there. Obviously that's not the correct video here. This is just a demo. Um, and then I would simply hit save. Now I've got to do that four times. Um, one other thing is you can adjust the duration. I just added it so things haven't been tweaked and fine-tuned yet. If I want to go to the very end of the video I would just drag it to the end. I guess that's as far as it will allow me to go. But if I need it to go earlier or shorter, you know, so somewhere in this range, and then you want to just check so you can, uh, I'll hit play. I should, probably should have gone back further, even further. So I'll hit play. Looking for. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Be sure to subscribe. Okay, so that's when it appears. So I, I would hit pause and I'd want to drag that over. And then I'm usually a perfectionist. I'll go and I'll watch it actually, you know, not in the editor, but uh, on the YouTube play screen and I'll check to see how it looks. I'll see if the box is in the right position. And on average, I probably take about 10 minutes for each video because you know I just did it once, but I have to do it four times and then tweaking the timing on each one. So it'll take me about 10 minutes. Now I wanna show you something else uh, that, that really shortcuts this. So I'm gonna highlight this annotation and I'm gonna hit the trash can here to, to delete it, okay? So now I don't have any annotations in there. You'll notice this button right here this button is, is there because of the TubeBuddy plugin, which um, you know, I'll put the link on the screen at the end of the video to, if you want to check out what TubeBuddy is. Uh, but if I hit that uh, apply template, I've already got, already got the right one. I've got some templates saved. I'll, I'll apply my Nate's Take One template. So if I hit apply, it takes a, a minute to apply that. Hello, everybody. Okay, I'll hit pause there. Now you'll see I've got four different annotations. Let me change the zoom on this and uh, fast forward to the end of the, the video here. 
All right, so now you'll see that already added four annotations for me. It put the timing right where I want it, right where I had it saved, and they're already, they're already links. So right now I'm highlighting the subscribe button one. You see it's already linked to my channel. It already puts links in there. So if this is a template, and uh, in each video I want, might want to reference a different video, you know, so in this one I'm, I'm referencing my how to get testimonials video. I'll just need to go grab that one link for that specific video and put it there. Uh, let's see, let me highlight that one. So I put it right there. And then I'd highlight this annotation. Let's see, which one is it? There we go, this bottom annotation. And I would remove the link that's there and put in the correct link for that one and then simply hit save. So that little, one little feature of TubeBuddy um, really speeds up that process. And again, I'll share that with you. You can go to tubebuddy.com forward slash wallaby if I forget. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna show you is cards. Cards is, is pretty cool. Um, I don't use cards as Hello, often. everybody. Welcome to, let me pause that. Um, but I need to. And anyway, let me show you and you'll see, you'll see why. Because I use uh, annotations so much, I usually forget about cards. But what cards does, uh, let me just uh, fast forward to the middle of the, the video there and I'll add a card let's see I'll add a link and we'll link it to my website and I can pick an image let's see oh sure we'll have it be a running lady and we'll put in a word here let's see the card of title will be um, Nate is totally awesome because I am right all right so visit his website. You won't regret it. All right, so I'll create that card. And now you'll see this little eye icon up in the top right corner. It always appears in that same position. So it doesn't really reference anything in the video. It's just always up in the top right. Watch what happens when I click on it. That image that came up appears. Uh, the the phrases that I put in there and uh, you know what I, I previously was just trying this out and I did create so there's actually two cards in here now um, anyway I could I could highlight one and you know I, I can leave them both there you can put as many cards as you want and it kind of stacks them on top of each other so you don't have multiple eyes up in the top of screen it just all the cards that you have in there and you can have them stop and start at different uh, points uh, throughout the video so anyway uh, I could edit each of those cards here and when and where they start, and uh, that's cards. Okay, so as promised, I told you that I would let you know a little bit more about TubeBuddy because it's it was kind of a critical tool for annotations. Let me come to this video here. This is my buddy Chris Crone, and we put up this video about a year ago, and it's got 29,000 views now. Uh, there's there's a lot of tools with um, with TubeBuddy. See, I've got a plug in here and. Uh, I'm not really going to, I'm not going to take any time to show you each of these things. Go ahead and go to, yeah, it's uh, tubebuddy.com forward slash wallaby, okay? And and you'll be able to even have a, a free version you can try out there. But here's one that I can show you really quick that I use all the time. I can When I click on tags, it shows me the different keywords that I've set up for this video. And this little green icon there, you can see that for that phrase, this video ranks number one on YouTube. For this phrase, this video, or sorry, this video ranks number one for that phrase, number one for that phrase, number four for that phrase, number seven for that phrase, two, number two, and number six. And it doesn't uh, currently rank um, for those, for either of those phrases there. You'll also see up on the top right side of my screen, uh, I've got this, uh, I've always got this tube buddy menu so there's shortcuts if I just want to go directly to the, the my videos dashboard or I can do bulk editing and stuff like that so anyway I'll end the video there that's my invitation I recommend checking out TubeBuddy at least use their free version and hope you have an influential day. Mm -hmm.